Alright, uh, welcome back. So let's look at the example on the ratings and also the transformation ratios. Alright, so we have an example here. I've taken it from the old question paper. They say that a single phase step down transformer is rated 150 kVA and has ratio terms of 20 is to 1. And the question is to calculate the maximum allowable primary and secondary currents if the supply voltage is equal to uh, 2000 volts. Right, so the first thing that you would want to do is to first write out the equations that you want to use and also you need to write your given data. So from this question I can see that I will need my uh, transformation ratio, I will also need to use my KVA ratings and then I'm also given the voltage, they say it's a supply voltage, supply voltage means it's the voltage on the primary side from the source, right? So I will most definitely need to use then this uh, this set of equations with the transformation um, uh, rating equations, right? So let's write down the equations that we are going to use. I will use the fact that V1 over V2 is equal to N1 over N2, which is also equal to I2 divided by I1. So I will use all of this and also I will use the fact that S, which is the given transformer ratings. Remember, I said that S on the primary will be equal to S on the uh, secondary side. So it doesn't matter whether I'm on the primary or secondary side. But because I know that S is equal to V multiplied by I, it means I am given the V of the primary. So let's look at the given data. I can see that I'm running out of space. I will remove this set of equations and then continue uh, from there. But let's look at the given data. What are we given? What is it that we are given? Firstly, I'm given an S rating of 150 kVA. So my S is equal to 150 kVA. I'm given the tens ratio, they are telling me that 20 is to 1. So that means then N on the primary side, 1, will definitely be equal to 20. And N on the secondary side will definitely be 1. Right? What else am I given? I'm also given the supply voltage. Right? Supply voltage is the voltage on the primary side. It's the voltage that is supplied to the device. Right? So that means that V then 1 is equal to 2 what? 2000 volts. Right? What is it that I don't have from these equations? I do not have I2, I do not have I1, and I do not have V2. So these are my unknowns I2, I1, and V2. So this is what I need to then calculate. So let's go ahead and do the calculations. Right. We know that the S value on the primary side is a product of the voltage of the primary multiplied by the current on that particular parameter. So I can use that and be able to calculate I1 and say that I1 will be equal to S1 divided by V1, right? Because I'm given V1 and I'm also given the S value. Right? So that means that my primary side current I1 is then equal to 150K, means times 10 to the power positive 3 divided by 2000 volts on the primary. These values, I'm getting them from my uh, collected data. Then you take your calculator and you punch in those values. If I punch in those values, I have 150,000 divided by 2,000. And I get that my primary side current I1 is then equal to what? My primary side current is then equal to 70. 
5 amperes. Right? So I have the value I want and the question, remember, the question said calculate the maximum allowable uh, secondary current, right? And the rating is given as 150 kVA and basically, actually that rating is done for the worst case scenario. So usually electrical devices are rated and they are full load or at their maximum um, capacity in terms of operation. So when they say they want the maximum allowable current, we can definitely use that term and a maximum of that rating that is given to us. So now that I have I1, I will go back to my set of equations. My set of equations are telling me that, okay, the relationship between I1 and I2, I can say that I1 divided by I2 is equal to N1 divided by N2. Because I have N1 and I have N2, I, need, I have I1, now I need I2, so I will use the fact that N1 over N2 equals I2 over I1, and I'm looking for I2, I have I1. You manipulate the equation and that implies that uh, I2 is then equal to I1 times N1 over N2, right? I hope you can still see if I'm writing on this side of my board. Um, so I said that I2 is then equal to I1 multiplied by the transformation ratio of N1 over N2. So if I substitute the values there, I1 is equal to what? I multiply with the 75 amperes multiplied by N1. I'm told that the transformation ratio is 20 is to 1. So it's like that. Then you take your calculator and you punch those numbers in. And you will get that 75 times uh, 20. Basically 75 times 20, which is equal to 750 amperes. So that is the maximum allowable current that the load can draw on the secondary windings. All right, uh, now the next video we'll be looking at the uh, development of the uh, equivalent transformer model. Uh, we'll also look at now the approximate equivalent uh, transformer circuit and the calculations that are involved in that. Uh, thank you for watching.